What do we say about the Mexico City Grand Prix? Well, Max Verstappen called on pole. He led pretty much every lap. And he wasn't really challenged past the first corner. He was able to manage his tyres well. His car helped him to hold on to those tyres, whereas um, Merck elected to do one compound harder, thinking that they would drop off. And that never came. Checker hold on to third. To see off George Russell, who got fourth, but got the fastest lap at the end because he pitted to uh, go into softs and take that point away. And, yeah, Verstappen in a convincing and dominant fashion has broken the record for the most wins in a season. Isn't that just, you know, regardless of what you think of Verstappen, that's just something impressive to think about. I think the problem that we have right now, I mean, I'm kind of bored of it as well, but the reason why we have so many people who are kind of bored of that is because we just got off the back of 2020 and 2021 and even 2020 the kind of most dominant car or the best car in F1 history with the W11 and didn't have something like this this is Red Bull 2011 levels um, Mercedes what 15 16 levels it just doesn't feel like wow oh, anyone has any answers but at least in those kinds of cases you had somebody trying to challenge maybe from within the team for instance but we don't necessarily get that with, um, with the Red Bull here that said like I said it, it was an impressive feat it's no mean feat and it's testament to that kind of unit either the Verstappen and everyone around him or the team, the Red Bull of it all. Would have been nice to see Checo win at home. Hey, I think one of the kind of highlights of the race has got to be our driver of the day, Daniel Ricciardo, who, after that contact with Yuki, I'm not sure it was, you know, 0% Yuki's fault. Um, just tore through the field. But it was a crash that yet again demonstrated one thing that's really bad with these cars. How prone they are to launching off of each other's tyres when they have contact. Those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.